Welcome to Emmanuel Nashville's new 60 Days of Prayer podcast. For 60 days, we're praying together as we seek to purchase a long-term home in Nashville. To learn more about this unrepeatable opportunity, visit our 10th Generation info page at 10thgeneration.org. That's T-E-N-T-H generation.org. God loves to hear and answer our prayers, so join us now. 1 Timothy 6, 6-8 But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with these we will be content. 1 Chronicles 29, 14 But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able thus to offer willingly? For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. A prayer. God, we praise you from whom all blessings flow. Every good and perfect gift comes from you. All that we have belongs to you because you are the giver of life. You are the giver of good gifts. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to you. Truly, all things come from you and of your own have we given you. So, Lord, we pray that you would teach us godliness with contentment, which is great gain. And by contentment, we don't ask that we would be happy with the stuff you give us, but we ask that we would be satisfied in you. We confess that the only gift great enough to satisfy the longings of the human heart is you. We don't want to pursue the gift more than the giver. We don't want to rejoice in all the things we can get from you, but in the God who gives all things. So, Lord, give us a hunger for you, a thirst for you, a desire to know you more, and a deeper conviction that in Christ we lack nothing and have everything. God, you are not a means to another end. You are the goal. You are the prize. So reorient our hearts around that reality. Rekindle our affections for you, and in so doing, give us contentment. Free us from lesser hopes. Free us also from the fear of losing material things in this life. Who we are is not determined by what we have. And who we will be is not measured in the possessions that we take to the grave. The richest person in the world is the one who dies knowing you and being known by you. So we pray that we would enjoy more of you now and live in hope of your coming. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You've been listening to 60 Days of Prayer, a resource provided by Emmanuel Nashville. If you've been encouraged by Emmanuel's ministry, consider giving to our 10th generation vision. Your generosity helps us continue making the real Jesus non-ignorable in Nashville and far beyond. To help us purchase a long-term home in the city, head over to 10thgeneration.org and click Give. Once again, that's T-E-N-T-H generation.org. Go in peace.